Aunt Honey here. And what I'm going to be saying is that, and let's just, um, this is their first episode, and this is their very first episode of, of, of Let's Play Oval Office. So let's get started. Hello? Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what does... Okay, so what... So Oval Office is basically what, a game where you are in control of the, of the country and you are trying to, to please the people. And, yes? Huh? Sorry about that, folks. I have to go check over something. So we're gonna get started. In this game, like you can, you get to choose what party you are, what party you are. What I'm usually, I'm usually a different. A Democrat, and I'm going to play against a conservative. And you can say how many terms you can have. Let's just go with four. And then, so your election term month is, your currency. These are, and you can even change, like, what, how you, the fiddle, how, what, what uh, how to change, like, groups, how much you previews. So, but you shouldn't do that. Let's let's first play this game. Always stick with the defaults. I recommend when playing and winning at least five games before before you um switch the um defaults. So let's get started. You know what's really interesting about this about when you slow in the game that it will show you a quote from a famous person. Usually the quotes are about politics. Suppose you were an idiot and suppose you were a member of Congress, but I repeat myself. Mark Coyne. Good one. Congratulations. You have been chosen by the people as the president for the next four years as president of the USA. You are also commander-in-chief of the most powerful and expensive military in the world. Our current situations are pollution, technology backwater, contagious disease, asthma academic, hospital overcrowding, homelessness, and debit crisis. Let's begin. We're a great foundation. Okay, so you see See, everything is mostly in the, is mostly connected with everything else. Like, see, v, see those bars over there show you basically tell you how 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 pleased or are on or not pleased um people of the members of each group are with your with your policies and how you're running the government. Every so let's get 
And so let's get started with trying to please the and what with the parents. Let's see what's going on with the parents. Okay. So we have so what we basically gotta do is first okay and sit. Let's see what's going on with the contagious disease. It, it seems that the contagious disease we need to figure out we have to do with the state health service, so. Let's go to the serious illness on only. We have some. We have some good news. Good news. The Center for Technology and Business has announced our nation is no longer perceived as being backwards in technology. Technology terms. This will this will be welcome this free company as it opens opportunities for technology investments. Okay, that they basically. So this will help lower the fit. Wrong. Now, internet crime is a problem. Tax evasion is a problem. Bring up information. What's pros to freedom? We are technology. We have a technological advantage. Hmm. So let's fix the state the unemployment benefit. We're going up to medium. High productivity. Our workforce is are extremely productive, persisting a high enough everything in comparison with our competitors. This is good news for the future of our economy. Look, how to fix this? You can either relax the planning law or keep planning restrictions. We should keep on playing restrictions. Okay. And our tax evasion. Well, I will see. Okay, right. I'm going to save the game. See you later.